Hi, my name is Dave McDowell and I'm president of Save Our Sodas. I just wanted to provide a brief early spring update. The water has begun to rise. We're above 246.8 at the moment. The IJC River Board continues to play with the outflow both up and down. Shipping began on April 1st. The outflows have been down since then. They claim the outflows are down as a result of the rain we had the previous weekend in the Ottawa watershed. So they're protecting Montreal, which is something we all need to be used to. We'll see what happens with the outflow over the next week. Um, it, it, they did raise it yesterday, so maybe it'll continue to go up. That's what we need to have happen, because right now more water is coming in than is going out. The forecast for the end of April is to be about 247.6, which is above flood stage, but not where things get really ugly yet. So more water's coming our way and we all need to be prepared for it. In terms of other things that SOS has been doing, um, the people that take the sampling for the blue-green algae are no longer doing that for us. So we're looking for a new group to take care of that so we can, can continue to provide that information. We were successful through Senator Schumer's office in getting four and a half million dollars for the East break wall repair. The total cost of that repair is closer to 13 or 14 million dollars. So the four and a half million dollars will take care of the easternmost section, which is the sheet pile section that wraps around Charles Point. To be honest, that is the part that's in the most peril at the moment. So it'll be good to get that taken care of. That work is scheduled to be done in the fall. Whether COVID-19 impacts that schedule or not is yet to be determined. Um, but that's the current plan. We've also partnered with Lake Ontario St. Lawrence River Alliance, and we're talking to other groups around the lake and around the Great Lakes in total to partner together. We've, we've hired a law firm in Washington, D.C to help us figure out the best way to either plan, either change the plan or repeal plan 2014 so that we don't have to suffer through these high water levels year after year after year. We do understand that precipitation is part of the issue. Climate change is probably part of the issue, but there are several man-made components that could be done better. There are diversions into Lake Superior that are adding water that's unnatural. More water could be going down the Mississippi River at certain times of the year. So there are there are many things that could be done to mitigate this high water even if this is the new normal as our governor likes to tell us. We'll have another update in a couple months once the water levels are better understood and hopefully by then this COVID-19 issue is more behind us. It certainly won't be over by then, I don't think, but it should be behind us and we all our boats should be in the water and hopefully we've begun to enjoy the water. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll talk to you in a couple months. Thank you.